I'm sorry, Joe, but that's the way I feel. Well, let's look at the practical aspect. Practical aspect? Yeah. How many votes will a kid get being born in a hospital in Baltimore? But a humble cottage in Hooterville? Ah, uh -huh. that's the stuff landslides are made of. <laughs> landslides? Yeah, when he's elected president of the United States. <laughs> oh, man! Well, look, Joe, I'll level with you. There's a fair chance that he might not be president. And that humble little cottage in Hooterville is what I'm worried about. I mean, suppose it happens in the middle of the night and we can't get a hold of the doctor in time. I got that all solved. I'll just reactivate the system I inaugurated when Elsie Trotter had her baby. Oh? Yeah. It was world famous. Down here, anyway. <laughs> Here's how it works. Betty Joe Field is you. You jump out of bed. The string attached to your toe activates a cowbell. Or at the shady rest, I hear the cowbell. Leap out of bed. Run outside. Start a fire. You're cold. No, it's a signal fire. <laughs> ben Miller sees the fire, priority shotgun twice, which wakes Newt Kiley, who clangs the fire alarm, which wakes Sam Drucker, who alerts Wendell Gibbs aboard the cannonball. He hightailed it for the doctor. See how it works? Yeah. Uh, didn't I hear that when you tried that little scheme, the doctor never got there? Yeah. Well, there was that one little flaw. <laughs> I think we'll stick with Baltimore. <laughs> If you want to help me close it, you might have to sit on it. Oh, well, if that's what it takes, then maybe you should. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, I'll ride every day. And I'll fly up every weekend. Oh, hi, Doc. Some night, huh? Well, you can say that again. Hello, Betty Jo. Hi, Doc. Oh, uh, Betty Jo's leaving for Baltimore in the morning. Yes, I know. Well, good luck, honey. Steve, could you fly me up to Mercer Flats tonight? In this weather? It's Grace only, Simon. I've got to get there fast. Well, it could be a little dangerous. Well, it'd be very dangerous for Grace if she has to have her baby alone. I'll get my picture. Good man, that. He's not the only one. Well, Connie, don't worry. You'll be in very good hands in Baltimore. Oh, I know, Doc, but still. He's only thinking of Ready, you. Doc? Right. Bye, darling. Oh, be careful, sweetheart. You too. No ice hockey or pogo. Come on, Doc. with Betty Joe, and we couldn't decide who, so we all came over. <laughs> oh, hi, darling. What time is it? Oh, what happened? Grace only had a fine baby girl. Oh. Uh, well, where's Doc Stewart? Oh, he figured Grace might be a little frightened, so he thought he'd stick around for a little while. He's uh, quite a guy. Yes, we know. You know, uh, <clears throat> about Baltimore. Yes? Uh, well, well, I was just thinking, if we've got a man like Doc Stewart around and all this kind of help, well, why go there? Right. So, uh, uh, I'll just, uh, take this in the other room and unpack it. That's your daddy. You'll get used to him. <laughs> Junction. Junction. 